Hi there, welcome to my video again on Thinkific's new site builder. I am currently playing around with the Empire theme and what I love about it is that um, if you're not a coder or you don't have any sense of design or what a good front end design looks like, uh, the theme kind of sets it up with different templates to sort of uh, help you start uh, building uh, your brand's landing page. And what I mean by landing pages is this is the kind of like the first page that people kind of land on. So when they go to your site, so my site is engineeringcreatively.thinkific.com. And this is a way just for people to see um, what my site is about, um, what um, the background color, what the logo, what the text is. So I want to just give you some more kind of demonstrations about um, how easy it is to use the Thinkific Empire theme on Site Builder. And I'm qualifying this by emphasizing Site Builder because Thinkific has um, many different themes. If you're on Site Builder, uh, which is the one I'm on now, it gives you uh, existing templates and designs and colors to match uh, your own brand's branding style guide. But if you're on the other themes, it's a little, uh, more customizable. And, the idea of site builder is that it's already built for you. And so it allows you to make some small and subtle changes, but ultimately uh, it gives you an existing template to use and uh, play with. So right now in my sections, this first section here, if someone lands on my site and they see banner, there's really nothing much. It's so easy. I can just click on this banner and then I can look at the heading and change the word banner to uh, welcome to my site. And that could be my header, and I could have even easy subheadle that says, um, uh, learn more about my approach to automating your Thinkific site setup. And that just shows you how simple it is without needing to go in and code. Everything is uh, created in a way, and structured in a way, in a box that makes it super easy and super fun. And I, I don't like the text. Let's just say I don't think that white really matches the background color. I can just click on this button, choose a different color, maybe orange. And there, I can switch it very easily. It's very uh, simple and very fun. See? And if I want, I can even go online and look for different codes if I have a specific color in mind and input it here so that Thinkific uh, site builder can automatically populate that color. So if I go down to the next uh, section is the hero image. So this is the current default image, but if I wanted to put in a new image, then they've given me the recommended guidelines. I can even change the color to yellow. I'm just having really fun with lots of different colors because I think it's important. And there, I have a very new kind of fresh um, look already to my banner kind of homepage. And I can customize how uh, strong I like it in terms of yellow, or do I want maybe a muted yellow? And I like this, so I'm just going to kind of stick with this and have fun with it. And if I want to, again, I can kind of customize the size um, of the text. There. I don't know if I like it, but um, it's, you know, it's good to play around. Do I want to make it large, medium, small? Do I want to align it left, center, and right? And then if I want, I can add another button. Let's just say... You know, I want to say, instead of call to action, I want to say, sign up now. You know, everyone uses call to action, and some people you want to use sign up now. Some people want to use buy. And I can link this to my um, bundle page if I wanted people to learn more about bundling my packages. Or I can link specifically early on uh, to my checkout page. Where is my checkout page? Um, oh, if I go to my all courses. And then I can also go down to a, you know, if I say a specific site, I can link this button to a specific buy page um, that I've set up. So that's what I love about this site builder is that I can customize the buttons in different ways. 
And then if I really want uh, down here, I can continue to play with what the text looks like here. And I can even add um, more buttons. Let's just say if I wanted to add a buy button at every um, section, I could add a buy button, but I'm not going to because I don't think that looks great. I think it kind of looks cheesy, looks tacky, and that's just sort of uh, my approach. And um, yeah, this is uh, the way you can definitely use Site Builder in a way that is simple, it's effective. And if I don't like the existing buttons, I can hide them. So. As you can see, some of the buttons that were there before have been hidden. And treat it this way. Every single section can be customized here from headings, hero image, size and alignment, and button. So I hope that was a great overview. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on Thinkific's new site builder. And check out the link and try out Thinkific's new business plan for a month.